far more Oklahoma on our third and final day. We've got to catch a flight in a couple hours back to Richmond. Wanted to come back down to the damage site though for a little while today. And there are a lot more cars in here, a lot more traffic because they've pulled the checkpoints and allowed everybody in. And mainly everybody that's here now are just volunteers and homeowners. They're taking advantage of some pretty decent weather to try to salvage whatever they can. Any valuables, irreplaceable items. You can tell by looking around there's really not much left that hasn't been completely destroyed and in many cases completely rain soaked after getting nearly a half a foot of rain over the past four days or so. We're standing right across the street from Plaza Towers Elementary where the seven children died. The teachers here real heroes. They did everything that was asked of them. The storm of this magnitude unfortunately just wasn't enough. And if you think about this, if you look around and see this destruction and consider that 1,300 homes were completely destroyed, it's a miracle that only 24 people were killed. You have to attribute it to several things. A lot of the folks here in Oklahoma take this very seriously. They use a lot of these underground shelters. A lot of the folks here saw the storm coming. you got to give a lot of credit to the local meteorologists here that let them know this was coming. They got out of the way. They didn't have below ground shelter and that spared a lot of lives. There's no question. So over the next few days, the folks here are going to get what they can. The bulldozers are going to get the rest and those that have insurance may choose to rebuild. In four to six months from now, they may have their lives completely back together. But in terms of the mental recovery, and what everything these people have been through and have seen over the past four to five days, that recovery will likely take a lifetime. For more Oklahoma, I'm Chief Meteorologist Zach Daniel for CBS 6.